Welcome back, everybody. Time now for our, our visiting vet, Dr. K. He's in studio from Dr. K's Pet Clinic. And of course, it's about this time of year when we start talking about one of the things that can really be quite dangerous for pets. We're talking about antifreeze out in your garage. Right. Antifreeze, about this time, people are thinking about changing antifreeze, and sometimes they're not as careful as they should be, and they spill some, which is pretty easy to do, really, you know? Yeah. It's not, it's not unheard of that people spill it in the garage, but there's a problem with it just because if it ever gets spilled, it kind of, I understand, it kind of actually attracts cats and dogs to it, the, right. the, the taste right. or the smell it's or something. Some of them are sweet tasting, and so they kind of, I think there's always some antifreeze around, it seems like, and they kind of look and say, I've got a taste for it. But it doesn't take much before it causes a problem. In a cat, it takes like uh, about a half a teaspoon, and it can be fatal. And for a dog, it could be two uh, uh For a normal cat, it's like a, ha a half a teaspoon. For a normal, um, for I mean a cat, for a dog, a 30 pound dog, about a tablespoon or less can be fatal. So it doesn't take very much. Yeah, we're talking about just tiny, tiny amounts. Right. I mean, a few seconds out there for them to lap some of that up right. would be would be fatal, of course. Now, uh, so we're talking about keeping that out of the way, you know, any bottles or containers of it that you have, cleaning up if there is any spills. If your cat or dog does get a hold of that, you find out that maybe they did start to, you know, lick some up or whatever. Is that an emergency immediately That's to the vet? That's probably or? what you need to do. And if you don't, if you're suspicious, you just take them in right away because of the test, they, they can tell if you're animal has um, consumed it, but it's only accurate within six hours after it's ingested it. Okay. Uh, the main test. There are other tests. What uh, it does do if they eat it or drink it, depending on <laughs> how you want to put it, yeah. is that it uh, forms crystals in the kidneys, more or less, and they go into kidney failure. Oh, wow. And so that's the problem. And so you might not see the effects right away. It's not like they, they eat like some sort of... Um, organophosphate poisoning and they get seizures right away. This could take a day or two or something and then all of a sudden your, your pet doesn't look or feel very good. If you do notice quickly enough, can something be done for your pet if Correct. they get a little there bit? There is an antidote that you, they, we can be, be given that, that will bind with, with that or compete with the um, product and so that will not, they won't get it as bad and they can actually stop the progression of the problem. Okay, so there is hope, but you just gotta be, make sure that you're watching, because you gotta act quickly for a case right, pretty severe. Right, you can't severe. be thinking about it, well, maybe we should bring it in tomorrow, because tomorrow's gonna be too late. Yeah, serious enough that you don't need to waste any time, just go ahead and take them to the vet. And of course, this time of year, when it's getting that cold anyway, be a good idea to keep the cats and dogs away from the garage altogether. Right. And hopefully, w that won't happen. Well, because yeah. people start putting decon out because their pets, you know, the mice are moving in because mm -hmm. it's cold and they forget about it and they move, move uh, something in the garage and the pets eat it and then here we go again with yeah. decon. So just make sure this winter season that you're remembering that, keeping your cats and dogs inside the home and hopefully you can avoid any and all of those chemical related problems that could be fatal for them. Right. So great tips, great things to keep in mind. Thanks so much for being with Thanks. us this morning.